Well, you read the title correctly about an eruption that took place at the Kalaupapa Peninsula inside Kauhaku Crater on the north shore of the island of Molokai, Hawaii in November 2011. However, this eruption was not caused by renewed volcanism because volcanism ended on Molokai around 230 to 300,000 years ago. An eruption from that time period began as a submarine eruption that breached the surface creating the Kalaupapa Peninsula and the Pu'u Uau vent located in the center of the peninsula which is known today as Kauhaku Crater. The summit of Kauhaku Crater is part of a low shield volcano that rises 150 meters or 490 feet above sea level. Kauhaku Lake that resides in the crater is about 250 meters or 820 feet deep and it's 50 meters or 160 feet wide giving it a world record for the largest depth to area ratio with the surface area of the lake of only a third of an acre. First, a little history of the Kalaupapa Peninsula. In 1866, King Kamehameha V passed a law to quarantine patients infected with leprosy to prevent the spread of the highly contagious disease. Even though the disease is gone today, a small community of Kalaupapa is still thriving. Access to Kalaupapa community is difficult but not impossible. The Kalaupapa Trail has been damaged back in 2018. There are also no shopping facilities nor any restaurants in Kalaupapa. One must need also a special permit to visit by boat, and only 100 guests per day can visit the Kalaupapau National Historic Park. In 2011, nearby residents noticed a rotten egg smell coming from the direction of Kahaku Crater. This was confirmed to be hydrogen sulfide in which the rotten egg smell is its distinct odor. The gas is very poisonous, corrosive, and flammable in high concentrations. When the National Park Service staff reached the lake, they noticed it was devoid of any life. In the 1970s, the lake was found to be meromictic, which means that there are several layers of water that do not mix. There is no connection, however, between the lake and the ocean. The bottom layer, however, contained hydrogen sulfide, which remained trapped until the layers started to mix in November 2011. What geologists had found was that the top layer had hydrogen sulfide gas escaping the lake surface. One theory was that during a drought, a large amount of water evaporated that triggered the overturning event at Lake Kauhaku, causing the layers to mix. An overturning event is also called a limnic eruption in which dissolved gases suddenly erupt to the surface either by eruption, earthquake, avalanche, or other natural triggers. It is similar to shaking a can of soda. One of the most infamous limnic eruptions took place in Cameroon in 1986 in Africa when a landslide triggered the release of a massive heavier-than-air cloud of carbon dioxide that raced down the mountain killing nearly 1,500 people. Geologists consider what happened in 2011 an event and not a volcanic eruption as this volcano is extinct. Geologists however will continue to monitor Lake Kauhaku for any future events. Thanks for watching.